So if you were following my YouTube content before I started doing the FNF remixes, then you might remember that last year I did some stuff uh, about the show Death Battle, because I, I really like Death Battle and I wanted to like get my thoughts on it out there. And unfortunately those two videos ended up being the only ones I ever made because shortly after I made them, uh, the company funding Death Battle shut down. So after that there were a few very stressful months of waiting to figure out what the fate of Death Battle would be. And a couple months back, thankfully, they they announced they were going independent, and they put up a Kickstarter. And now they're um they're back, like they're fully back with Omni Man vs Bardock. And I decided I wanted to do uh, like an unscripted review of it, since I always seem to lose interest in like making a video of this kind like halfway through the, the editing process, so I decided I might as well just like skip one of the more boring sections and see if that helps. So this is just gonna be me rambling about Omni-Man vs. Bardock for a few minutes, and it probably won't be all that coherent, so apologies in advance, but let's just, let's just do the thing. Starting off with the analysis, I, I quite liked it. It felt like the pacing was kind of fast for my liking, like, it felt like they crammed a lot of info into a pretty short time frame. It didn't bother me too much, but it was, like, noticeable for me, and this is, like, a problem I had with- not less of a problem, more like a nitpick I had with the episode as a whole, is that the pacing felt kind of fast. And it didn't really feel like a lot- it felt like they crammed a lot in and didn't really have enough time to flesh most of it out. But again, it, it's only a nitpick, it's not too big of a problem, and I do still like the episode. Anyway, uh, back to the analysis. Uh, the editing was really, really good. It's not the best ever, I don't think, but it's still, like, up there. Like, the editing was amazing. The humor, like, the jokes were kind of, they were kind of hit or miss for me, honestly, but, like, again, it wasn't, it didn't bother me too much. I still liked it. Okay, now moving on to the fight. Uh, the fight was very good. I liked it. It was animated by one dude, uh, Devil Artemis. And he did, an, like, honestly a really good job for being a solo project. Like, the, the models, like, they move smoothly, they look good, the effects all look fantastic. Just all around, like, great technical showing on his part. The voice actors also did a really good job. Um, Omni-Man is voiced by Tom Shawk, again, and I'll be honest, his performance wasn't as good as it was in Omni-Man vs. Homelander, but I still liked it. I like how you can kind of tell between the episodes that Omni-Man is putting in way more effort here than he was against Homelander, and I just think that's kind of funny. But, um, Kamran, Kamran Nakad, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, he voices Bardock, and he does an absolutely amazing job with a lot of his line reads. Especially, like, the screams and his one line before Bardock goes Super Saiyan. He, he did an amazing job. The actual contents of the fight, there's not a lot for me to comment on. It's mostly just, like, flying around and punching and kicking in lasers and shit like that. The only real issue I had with the fight is that Bardock's transformations don't really feel like they do anything. Like, to give you an example of what I'm talking about, Bardock goes Great Ape, and then beats Omni-Man up for 15 seconds, and then Omni-Man rips off his tail, and now he's back to base form. Like, like, Great Ape was cool, it was cool to see it for the first time, but it didn't really feel like it accomplished anything other than hurting Omni-Man a little bit more. It's the same deal with Super Saiyan, like, he transforms, he beats Omni-Man up for 20 seconds, then Omni-Man stops holding back again, and they're evenly matched for a little bit, and then Bardock dies. It, it didn't really feel like that did anything. It's not like 
a deal breaker. Again, I still like the episode. That just like stood out to me as something that was kind of weird. But other than that, I really like the fight. Um, I don't have a ton to say about it because it is mostly just like flying brick pew pew lasers and shit, but it's very good. I will also give it this. Omni-Man's final line in the fight is fucking hilarious for all the wrong reasons. So overall, uh, good episode. Uh, I don't have a ton of thoughts on it, but I liked it. Good, good debut for Independent Death Battle. Also, I feel the need to clarify this because it's literally all I hear people talking about with this episode. I do not care who won or if the verdict was accurate. Like, Omni-Man or Bardock could have won and I would have felt the same way about the episode either way. Like, it does not affect my opinion of the episode, and it shouldn't affect yours either. Like, just because the character you like lost shouldn't make the rest of the work the team put into the episode any less valuable, I guess. So, other than that, uh, we're basically done here. Um, thank you for listening to me word vomit about Omni-Man vs. Bardock for seven minutes. I hope you enjoyed it at least a little bit. I might make more of these for more episodes if they come out, but no promises. Thank you for watching. Go check out the original episode. Uh, go check out my other stuff if you want. I make, like, Friday Night Funkin' remixes. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Cheers, everyone.